Hello, I'm Kaz from Gem Letters Jewellery. I'm just going to quickly talk to you about the difference between US sizes in ring sizes and Euro sizing. And I've got some examples to show you here today so that you can sort of visually see them and it might just help you make a decision on what ring size you might be. So I go from a 5 to a 10 in US and all of those sizes correspond to something in uh, Euro size. So let's go for it. I'll show you a size 10. I'll show you it on but it's too that that's my biggest size it's actually too big for me on a measuring stick you can kind of see it there it's between a t and a u but if you're bigger if you're sort of an s or a t in euro that may be the size to go for you because my rings are chunky so i do say if you're halfway between sizes um go up a size because they're not like buying a thin band that's a size nine so that's a euro size between an R and an S. That's my size on that hand, just to show you it on. I'll pop some pictures at the end of this video on other people's hands so you can see how they look and you might see a hand that you think looks a bit like your hand and it might just help you think that's my size. That's an eight. So that's coming in between a P and a Q. Um, yeah, if you are a P or an O, a seven, a, a seven is probably too small for you if you're a euro o so you could go for an eight that kind of fits that hand that seems to be slightly less knobbly for me but really a nine suits me on that hand i'll show you the difference between those three rings um and it might help you see what they're like so that's an eight nine and a ten they, there is a, a jump up in each size and then we go down to a seven There you go, so you can see that's between an N and an O. That does fit me on this finger. Of course, it might fit your main finger or your smallest finger. And then a six. We've all got different finger shapes and whether if you've got what you think you've got small hands, you think you've got big hands, I've usually got something that will fit you. It's a six. And everyone thinks their hands are the craziest hands ever, but they're not. We've just all got different hands. So this is just over an L. Uh, usually fits that finger for me, which is, uh, it's the same size as my wedding ring band, actually. Um, there you go. And then a five. It's my teeniest size. Fits my finger there. You know, but I've got lots of people that buy that for their main finger, for their biggest finger. So that comes in at a J. But you might be an I, and that would still be, probably be fine for you because they are quite chunky. So let's just have a look at them all together. Oops. There we go. That's a five, six, seven. That's the difference between a five and a ten. There you go. And these these rings are just a different shape. So that's a ten. And then a nine. That does fit that finger. You want to be able to give your hand a shake and it doesn't fall off, but you don't want it too tight. You don't want to be forcing this ring on. Uh, so that's an eight. A seven. a six and a five i do loads of different colors flowers sparkles plain plain black it's very popular i've just got some random ones out today just to show you the sizing there's two fives there's two tens um i will pop a ring size chart below so you can sort of see if you know your euro size you might be able to just look along and see what size you'd be um and i've also got a ring size measuring guide all you need is a bit of paper and a ruler and that can help you find out your ring size at home and i just hope that just sort of seeing these rings has maybe maybe helped you think what size you might be um yeah thank you so much for watching um any questions do just email me kaz at gemletters.com dm me um, on instagram all the time 
So I'm Gem Letters Jewelry on Instagram or just pop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.